ladies. I am here to switch my camera up on you again. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want you guys to see that light in the background because it's in a weird place. Okay. I'm here to show you how to make the flowers out of the headbands. So Crystal Lumpkins had sent me headbands in a loaded envelope. There was three. This is one of them. As you can still see, it's still attached. Um, and I said you guys can make flowers. Well, a couple people had asked me, how can you make flowers and can you do a tutorial? Here I am. So this one is already done and I was working on this one. All you're going to do is cut it where it's already sewn together right there. Just cut it down one side. You can leave the other side. Or you can cut this whole thing, this, uh, you'll see right here. You can cut this whole thing out if you want, like cut on each side of it and cut it out. Or you can just cut one side so it comes in half. You are then going to make a running stitch. Just a simple running stitch down one side of it. As you can see, I've already started this one and I'll finish it for you guys. I leave a good enough space and you do, and you want to make sure you get through some of the lace that is um, completely filled in like right here instead of just the holes. That way it gives itself a secure place and it doesn't end up accidentally ripping the lace because it can do that because the lace as you know is a little fragile. So you definitely want to make sure you get through um, some of the thicker stuff. So you're just going to do a regular running stitch until you get to the end. And then um, you're going to tie it off. Let me try and get it through there. Stop poking myself. And then you'll pull it all the way through. And then you'll tie it off after you figure out how small or how big you would like your flower. And that decides on if you're going to use it in the middle, if you're going to use it on the end. And for now, we're just going to make it a really tight one. And I'll go ahead and tie this off. I, and I have no idea how to sew or anything. So I just kind of do what I do. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm not a professional at this. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it in the scissors that I have for that. Actually, Oh, I'm sorry, ladies. here and cut that off. So now we have this flower. If you guys can see this, picture this. Now here is where you can either sew this together right here to keep it enclosed. You want to know what? I just kind of thought about something. Hmm. Okay, so I, I cut it apart just to sew it back together. So I'm assuming, now that I'm just now thinking about this, that you don't have to cut it apart at all. Anyway, on to what we're doing. You, you can sew that together right here, or you can hot glue it, and then this is your flower. This one I've already done, and I wanted to show you guys how um, you can either make this one bigger And then you can lay this one right on top. And then you can hot glue them. And then you have a layered flower. And then you can put whatever embellishment you want in the middle. Now I'm wondering, I could just do the running stitch on the outside and then tie it together. Why didn't I think of that before, ladies? Just now dawned on me. That yeah, you just do a running stitch on the outside, leave it together, and then you just, you know, when you tie it together it'd come in the middle duh ladies duh oh my goodness i've been making this so hard on myself the thing was is with regular lace it's already in it's already in a uh a line what do you want to call that a uh whatever it's already in one piece it's not sewn together so thinking about that when i used the headbands i it didn't even dawn on me that i already like sew them together at the end <laughs> so anyway Little fun fact to learn from my mistakes. So how big you decide to keep this one open, like the, your bottom one, 
as big as as wide open as you want it and then you can you know sew that or glue that together and then you can put the one that you close tighter like this one right there in the middle and you can um, have a layered flower or you can leave this one just like it is and put an embellishment in it and you have just a single flower you know there's the options you can do more than just two layers too you can do three layers you could do four you could also add some doily lace um just some it's all lace <laughs> some doily in between the layers or some tool in between the layers if you wanted to to give it a more different look a versatile look um you could use string in between it you could use anything you wanted to in between the layers if you wanted to um the options are endless so i just wanted to show you guys that and this is with the headbands from the dollar tree and you get three of them so you can make three different flowers. You can make ladies. I got a phone call and um, I was done anyway. I just want to come back and do a proper, hey, I'm sorry video um, at the end here. Um, if you guys have any more questions, let me know. I just wanted to, like I said, come here and do the tutorial like you ladies asked. I'm more than happy to do more and I will have some different ones coming up. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for stopping at Mandy's place. Bye.